Welcome back, guys. We are here with NFC Non Fungible Cast 31. I'm here with my partner in crime, WT. Uh, it's been a while uh, since we've done this, but today we have a very, 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 very ex- uh, special. Uh, topic and project we want to talk about eternal dragons on solana Um, man i'm super excited about this and actually fun fact you will be seeing me uh streaming on their twitch channel i'm going to be streaming on their twitch channel from time to time so make sure you check that out i'm going to put the link uh below for that uh in the description uh so you'll be able to follow their twitch channel their discord their socials all that i will put in the in the description below so make sure you check those out and uh, I'm super, super excited about this. Like I say, this project looks incredible. The team behind it is uh, is is unmatched. It's absolutely in- incredible. And I want to get into that in a little bit. WT, first things first, how are you? What's new? What's exciting, man? Talk to me. Good, brother. Great to be back for number 31. It's been a minute. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to be here and talking about this. You turned me on to this project and uh, I've been looking more and more to it, getting a lot more bullish on it. And uh I, I hear we're in this bear market, but we keep cranking and the quality projects keep cranking. And I'm, I'm excited to get into this one today with you. Yeah. Like I said, this is one that I'm super excited about. One thing, one thing about me, when I get into any project or anything, when I look into a project, I look at the team first. That is the first and foremost thing you have to look at the team. Do you have faith in this team? Is this team, does it have experience? Cause that's one thing you cannot buy and not even just in, in this industry, in any industry, in anything in the world, you cannot buy experience. Now, this is an absolute all-star stacked team. Probably the best team I've seen. Uh, I want to talk about there's Alex, Andreas, and Bertrand. Alex is the CEO and co-founder. He's a former senior director at Microsoft, uh, former VP at King, uh, a former CEO at Omnimata, I believe it's how you pronounce it, former director at EA. Like this guy's resume goes on and on. These are big names. I mean, you know, everybody knows Microsoft. Everyone knows King. Every, you know, EA. I mean, come on, you guys know these names. Andreas is a CPO and co-founder, uh, former former head of product for Candy Crush, Soda Sega, and King. I mean, Candy Crush. Like these are these are names. I mean, everybody's played Candy Crush. Uh, they're involved with games like SimCity, Candy Crush. The, the list goes on. Like these are very very experienced experienced. Um, uh, people and these are like serial entrepreneurs uh and i mean you have to you can't bet against these guys you, you know when these guys put their name on something you know it's going to be a really good product uh former product lead for candy crush saga at king former product lead at Nonstop games there's bertrand cto and co-founder former technical director at ea playfish former director at engineering at peak former cto at my residence these guys are stacked they're art directors everybody the list goes on and on i mean i could go on and on about these guys uh um, and then there's Trailblazer Games, the parent company. This is Trailblazer Games, who collected 8.2 million in their seed round. Like th- these are numbers that you just you you cannot ignore. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm just impressed. I'm I'm impressed all around. Uh, tell me your thoughts on these guys. I'm super impressed. I'm super impressed. To be very honest. Absolutely. Right off the bat, you were talking about the 8.2 uh, seed seed fund that they secured. It, it's not easy to go out and get that kind of capital to put the fuel into your game because you got to have that fuel to get it going. So they, they clearly got the resume. They clearly got the chops to go out there and snag those investors to get this off, which they did. And uh, the resume that you went, I'm not, I'm not going to go through all it again. It was a ton. It was a ton. But with the, the two things that I noticed was all the places that they were at heavily in to mobile. And that's huge in this industry to be able to go mobile, which this game is going to do. And the other part they, they all must have met each other, I'm guessing. I'm just guessing they mess, mess, uh, met each other at King. And that's kind of cool that they got that little backstory of meeting each other, getting together, and forming that, you know, that triangle of, yeah, we're going to get this done. And I, I just love it. Good stuff all around. Yeah, um, again, like I say, you never bet against successful uh, people like this that have done this before. Not only have they been in, have they made these, they've succeeded. They've succeeded very, very, very well. So um, yeah, I, I wouldn't bet against these guys. Anything they touch turns to gold. You see it in the in the resume. I mean, it speaks for itself, uh, which is amazing. Now you've talked about mobile games um, and this will be, this is Eternal Dragons. It will be a uh, free-to-play mobile game. Uh, there is a free side to it. You can also buy the Dragon NFTs, uh, which... The art is incredible. I mean, uh, you know, I do have dragons myself. The art's fantastic. And, uh, it, man, I, I can't wait to put them on the battlefield. This is like a TFT type of game. It's a auto uh, auto chess battler, battler kind of game. And I love that strategy, all that stuff. That's, that's 
up my wheelhouse and uh i can't wait uh to start playing this and uh, getting my hands on it because i love that kind of style of game and like we say mobile games is is there's so much mobile games is huge i mean you know you ever heard the meme everyone has a phone right and uh and and it's a free to play mobile game and that's the best way to get onboarding getting all these people onboarded and that's the key is getting people to play your game and again these guys know how to do that they're very very successful in 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 this industry so uh yeah you you gotta be in you know you gotta you, you gotta support this man you gotta be like yeah i have faith in these guys which i which i totally do um and um they're yeah so the dragon nfts you can get to make your team uh which is awesome uh you earn eternium okay uh now the, the now they have this really unique uh utility flow token flow um tell me about that it's really unique and i love it because that's one of the big factors in these games so tell me more about this utility token flow tell me about it yeah it's it's the utility token flow for eternium eternium is their in-house token so to speak it's going to be the lifeblood of this project and it's uh it's a very closed loop uh self-sustained system from what i've looked at you've got you can have your free-to-play players which i love by the way having free to play you allow more people to come in the game they come in they can buy eternium that eternium that they buy goes into their wallet and uh, uh they can take that and spend it on whatever they want to do with inside the game while they're playing the game, they can also uh, earn Eternium. And that Eternium goes back into their wallet, and they can trade that out, according to their diagram, for soul. That's awesome. So you can play and earn while you're doing this. And ultimately, everything trickles back either into the player's wallet or the treasury. And from the treasury, that gets distributed out to their holders and their dev team. And it's a very closed loop system. It works. They're going to have in-game things to buy to keep having uh, sinks and re resupplies, and it, it looks very nice and tight. Yeah, I agree with that completely. Uh, it's a beautiful system, and that's one of those things that's, again, experience. They know what they're doing, and uh, and, and I, I am all for that. I think it's a very, very good system, that what they have set up, and it's one of the cleanest ones I've seen for sure, um, and, uh, and I'm excited for that as well. Now, I do want to talk about uh, Eternal Dragon Con Berlin. I don't know if it's called EdCon or EDCon. It was, uh, they did it in Berlin, which is awesome. They did it on a one and a half week notice and they had over 100 plus people there. Some people drove like 22 hours to get there. People slept in their cars. Uh, that just goes to show you the community side of it and and how you know the community is, is they're there for each other. And that's amazing. To me, you know, you've known me for a while. We know each other. The biggest thing for me, is team and community. And that right there, uh, this shows me that this that this project has a, an incredible team and an incredible community. Those are the two biggest things that I look for in anything. And uh, I think that's awesome. I like that they have that. They have these, you know, um, these like internal like uh, EdCon. I think I believe it's around Ed, EdCon Berlin. And you know, everyone got together. They had drinks. They they shared stories. They got to see some art and stuff. It's it's awesome. That's how you build the the community. That's how you build these bonds. And uh, and I love 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 love, love, love that they do that. Hopefully they have one around me, man. I'd like to be, uh, to go to one of those, you know what I mean? Hopefully they have one of those around me. Uh, I would absolutely love that. Okay. Um, the alpha demo should be showcased within the next few weeks, which is very, which I'm very, very excited about. That's something I really want to get into and play. Uh, I know they're, they're talking about, you know, down the road, obviously they want to be, um, the core gameplay wants to be around like the esports style tournaments, which I think is really cool. Uh, you get to see, this is a strategic game. You're going to see some really cool strategies and, and all that stuff, which I like. I like how esports, uh, I think we're so early in this space and, and in this game that, uh, the esports are starting to, to come in and say like, Hey, this is the next phase. I think, you know, web three is going to be huge. And it's good to see that the esports side of things are starting to come in a little bit. I'm really excited about that. Uh, what are your thoughts on the whole esports and uh, coming in stuff? What do you think on that? It's huge. Anybody in this space that can see the big picture of this, they're getting involved with esports. Not everybody's doing it, but the ones that are going to lead the pack and be have the best chance at surviving all this are going to be the ones involved in esports. So we've talked about this, I don't know how many times. We have to have more people into this space besides just the web three natives that know it. We got to get that, that outside, uh, you know, space of people coming in to facilitate the economies that we need. And by getting esports involved, it brings in a huge influx of people that are gamers. And that's what we need. We've seen it with other companies that are doing it and they're doing it. So that gives me bullish vibes that 
they, they've got the big picture in their head. Absolutely. Absolutely. These esport teams come with huge fan bases and, and all that stuff. And, and I just think it's a matter of time. I just think it's a matter of time. And, and the, the thing is the more that get involved, the more knowledge gets out there. And, and once the knowledge is out there, I think it's going to become more natural and, and stuff. And I think this is huge. I think this is a, a very good start to this. Uh, I like that they want to go around the, the esport uh, route. I think that's huge. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be massive once the the fan bases and stuff uh, see that for themselves. And they're going to definitely want to get involved. Um, okay, so they're going to be doing some airdrops for their loyal holders. There's things called nesting where you can get Eternium and stuff like that. But yes, they're going to have an airdrop for uh, their loyal holders, which I think is good. I, that stuff to me, it always shows that they care. Uh, airdrops is huge. I think that's always a nice thank you. You know, there's early investors, people that, you know, have faith in the project uh, off the rip because you need that. You need that. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, it's always nice to, to see or and hear when they say, okay, we're going to give you guys, you know, an airdrop or whatever it is. I mean, I have no idea what it is, but it's always nice. Uh, it's always a nice gesture. And I think, I think that is huge. Um, WT, tell me, let's, let's just, I want, I want to make this video kind of short and sweet. I want to get to the point on this. Uh, we are going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be doing a Twitch, uh, stream on Friday with eternal dragons and, uh, going to give a chance to get to know everybody. I want to get to know the community and, um, and give them a chance to get to know me and stuff. Uh, what are your thoughts? I want to hear your final thoughts on, on eternal dragons, the thought process of it, the mobile game side, the team, let's break it down. Let's do a final thought process before we shut it down. Yeah, I, I, I really my biggest thing right off the bat, I love that they're mobile. Everybody's got a phone. Uh, not everybody has tons of time to sit in front of a monitor all day long. Uh, and that's my number one thing I like right off the bat is they're mobile. They're getting esports involved, which is getting more people into the space, into their game, which is just positive overall. I like their economy, how they have uh, sinks and resupplies set up, uh, the sinks being breeding, upgrading dragons, healing, uh, entry fees to get into competitions. We didn't even mention that. They got competitions. That's another fun thing about the game. And, and then, you know, not only that, they're looking to limit exploits and mass farming with their uh, energy-based system called Dragon Feed. Just They've got a ton of intricate setups to make sure that the game is remains balanced and oh and by the way the art looks amazing so that that's <laughs> what i'm very bullish about i know i get into the nitty gritty but that's just kind of my thing yeah no i feel you i'm definitely going to put up some pictures here that you guys can see of the art it's it's so beautiful the art team is great i know we talked about the team a hundred times um but again i just have so much faith in it and uh, you're going to see for yourself i'm going to put up some art here where you guys can see it and uh you can literally see for yourself uh, super excited. And I mean, who doesn't like dragons, man? I mean, come on, right? Yeah. Dragons is what's up. So, uh, super excited again, guys. And I want to say thank you if you watch this video. I know it's a little short. We're going to make it short and sweet. Cause I want to make sure you guys hear it all, everything we had to say. Uh, and then on Friday, we're going to be doing the Twitch and uh, there's gonna be a lot more videos like this. You're gonna see a lot of me on, on their Twitch channel. I'm gonna be talking about it on my Twitch channel. I'll put all those links below. Uh, again, join their Discord, follow their socials, uh, and uh, yo, let's get this going. I I, I wanna uh, I really wanna get to know the community. I think you all should get to know this community. Uh, it's been absolutely incredible. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. WT, are we out of here? Yep, and as always, let's go. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. We're out of here. See you soon. Peace.